Good morning, everyone. Um, it's Tuesday, the time now, 10 a.m., massive announcement. Um, I don't want any California gig worker, any California Uber driver, any California uh, Lyft driver to miss out on this very, very important date today, April the 28th. The website is updated, right? This is more specifically for um, California gig workers, right? The website, the EDD website is updated. You have to pay very, very close attention to the disaster section when you're filling out the UI, but the, um, the forms are ready. It all works. I checked it out. Very streamlined, very clean, very easy to do. A couple of steps and you're done. The other big one, my friends, uh, before I get to how to file the, the documents, is that misclassification of drivers, um, the misclassification as, you know, the, the independent contractor where you should have been classified as an employee. There's a lot of money to be um, received there, right? But the problem is, is that if you go through the actual forms and fill them out and go the long route, right, through the, um, through the labor department there in California, the problem is it can take up to one and a half years. So I want to show you a fast, fast way how to get your money in California. Um, I will do that. I'll walk you through those steps. But here, let's go through um, the EDD, the unemployment application today in California, right? So they say, are you unemployed as a direct result of recent disaster, for example, COVID-19 earthquake? So they've updated the forms. It's all clean. It all works. It all functions. Go ahead and use that form. Uh, Mark Routen's in Vegas. Give us an update on Vegas. Is the UI working? Mike K, GM professor. Thanks for the info. You're welcome. Right. So two things today. April the 28th, the website is ready to go. You can go and file. Right. Um, it's all updated. They'll say select the type of disaster. Um, what is your annual income for calendar 2019? If you are a business owner, self-employed, independent contractor, so they've put that wording in there, provide the date your business unemployment, self-employment was interrupted as a direct result of COVID-19. So they've put, the, put that in there for you. San Jose, you can go for it, Omar. You can fill it out today. It's all working. Select the option. Um, for how you were impacted by the COVID-19. They give you a lot of options. You, have a, um, you can select one of those options, right? At the time of the disaster, in which county did you reside? You mentioned the California county. At the time of the disaster, in which county did you work? Uh, for example, you worked in Los Angeles County, right? At the time of the disaster, was your unemployment caused by your need to travel through a disaster county? You get to nominate that, select the option that best applies to you, and then also provide the date your business unemployment or self-employment was in, interrupted as a direct result of COVID-19. For example, the date your business closed or the date your hours were reduced or the date you were furloughed or placed on leave of absence with, without pay or the date you were going to start work but couldn't due to COVID-19. Select the option for how you were impacted by the COVID-19 pandemic. So there you have to pay close att attention on that one page when it comes to the disaster section, right? Um, we'll also, I mean, I can post the EDD link for you. I will also want to alert uh, California drivers that the fastest way to get money, right? Listen to me carefully. The fastest way to get a lot of money is to use a specific law firm in California that I will vouch for, right? You can go through the route and fill out all the misclassification forms. Um, as they say here, that can take up to one and a half years. The quickest and fastest way is that class action attorneys package up your misclassification, right? I will give you the best one out there. Um, they are Potter Handy. I will leave the link and you tell them the ride share professor um, um, referred you, right? Misclassification, they quickly calculate what you should have gotten based on all the trips, based on all the hours, all the over hours, 
uh, you weren't paid for meal times, etc., etc. So they get you a big chunk of money quickly. And yes, they keep a percentage of it, but money in the bank right now is what people are looking for. You don't have one and a half years waiting time right now, right? And the problem here is that um, Rideshare Drivers United, I mean, they, the intentions were good, but they gave these people these links and said, fill this out. A lot of people filled it out. And you may be waiting up to one and a half years, right, for your misclassification money. It's the fastest way, I'm going to tell you right now, is you go to Potter Handy and you tell them, hey, submit my misclassification lawsuit right away. They bring it right away into arbitration. They get a hearing. It goes very, very quickly, right? You're talking about two months versus, you know, two to three months max, even less, could even be a month versus one and a half years. That's if you want to get all that misclassification money, right? But again, folks, the two big points that I'm talking about today, uh, Jimmy's in the house, Dennis Torres is in the house. Um, uh, my, the, the website, I went to the website, didn't say benefits unavailable. Didn't, didn't say that for me, so I'm wondering which link you, you went through. Um, <clears throat> you don't need to prove that you get UI. I'm just saying, fill out the new forms. They have all the new forms ready there for you, right? Uh, the UI process is, is up and running. GD3 is in the house. We welcome you. We welcome John. We welcome um, everyone in the house. Marco Lugio, Mar Marco Lugo is in the house. GD3 walked in. Tris walked in. Welcome everyone. And please, if I can get thumbs up, I'm on seven. I have 52 people in the house. I have seven thumbs up. Something's wrong with the math there. So just smash the um, like button if you can. I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you. Just got two additional thumbs up. Those really, really help me. Uh, remember, I'm putting my time in here. I'm sharing this information. I'm trying to get money to people who really, really need it. And we're exploring two ways today, right? California drivers, April the 28th. The website is up and running. I've checked it out. I've gone in there. Uh, pay close attention to the questions when it comes to disaster questions, right? Around COVID-19. Pay very, very close attention and go through them. Don't rush through them. Really think what you want to say there, right? Because it's important. The other, the other um, very important factor that I want to mention is that Uber and Lyft hit with claims of more than $630 million in back wages, right? In California, hopefully for all the other states as well, um, you will be then also somewhere down the line be able to file for the misclassification and all your back wages. But so far, $630 million have been filed by, by attorneys, by individuals, right? Just going the individual route, you as an individual, right? Filing the misclassification papers. Like I say, worst case scenario, it can take up to one and a half years. I don't have one and a half years to wait. So I got heavy hitter attorneys involved, Potter Handy, boom. Signed, got the paperwork signed. I've, I have sent them hundreds and hundreds of drivers, hundreds of drivers who they immediately got into the pipeline, filed arbitration and getting the monies for these drivers, the monies that they deserve. So here it says more than 2000 California ride hailing drivers have filed wage claims against Uber and Lyft since February. There are thousands and thousands and thousands of California drivers out there. Listen up, who... Um, Thank, thank you, Jim. I just want to read what Jim Lewis said. That's, that's great that you share that. Just finished my California PUA application on California EDD site. Very easy, no detailed wage income required. You just need to give an estimated 2019 net income amount. No other employer info required. Right, so just put that in there. I totally agree with Jim. I went through those steps. They were very, very simple. It's up and running. Um, Dennis, make sure you're at the right link. Jim Lewis just confirmed, like I did, very, very simple to fill out. And Dennis, uh, text me if you want to. I'll, I'll send you the link, right? I want to send you the right link so we get you going. Alex Ross is in the house. Very good morning to you. I apologize for yesterday. The live feed got a little bit off track. 
when we started talking about COVID-19 disinfectants and all that, it went a little bit south. People got a little bit heated. So I apologize for that. Um, I didn't want more information to go out there or more wrong information because we're not doctors, right? I'm not a doctor. The people in, in, in the house were not doctors yesterday. So we don't, I really don't want to facilitate anything that comes from a professional. So I shut that down, that live feed yesterday, right? But today it's all about business. It's all about money. That's what I'm about about getting you the money. Um, the two ways, the misclassification way, um, just trust me on this one that, yes, you can go out there and do everything yourself and fill out all the misclassification papers. That's good, that's not a problem, but it takes forever, especially with these guys uh, so overloaded with work. They say it could take up to one and a half years to get your misclassification numbers, right? I'm astounded that only 2,000 Californians, there's hundreds of thousands of California drivers that should be turning to attorneys and say, get me my misclassification numbers, right? My misclassification numbers, just to give you an idea, are $700,000. $700,000 on mis... Will I get $700,000? No. They'll obviously come to an agreement. It'll be way less than that. And I also split the monies in a 60-40 ratio with the attorneys, right? But... I'm just saying, go out there, sign up under attorneys, right? And get your money, get it into arbitration, get your rightful money, right? There's enough jobs out there. Right now we can't work, you need the money, right? So I'm gonna quickly touch on this misclassification money. Uber and Lyft hit with claims of more than 630 million in back wages, that's in California. Um, um, more than 2,000 California ride-hailing drivers have filed wage claims against Uber and Lyft since February, alleging the companies have illegally treated them as independent contractors and owe them more than 630 million in lost wages, expenses, and damages. Remember, you're protected by the state. The state brought in the AB5 law. I do hope that Arizona, Florida, Texas, all the other, that all the people get their monies for misclassified wages, not only California, we got to fight for all of our brothers and sisters in all states. It doesn't matter if you're in Nevada or Utah. This is your money, right? They didn't pay you the right amount. And under the law, they owe you way, way, way more money, right? Um, and that's going back. Obviously, going forward, I say they're going to have a new law somewhere between gig worker law, independent contract, and somewhere between employee. I think they're going to rewrite a new law. But for the past, you are owed money because the state sees you as an employee and they will go after that money because they want their chunk as well. So uh, believe it or not, you owed a lot there if once you start calculating out all the hours, the overtime, Uber and Lyft drivers do a lot of overtime hours. So um, I highly, highly suggest you go and, and see these guys if you're in California, Potter Handy, and then you mention ride share professor. I tell you, they're like that, they're on it. They get the forms to you the same days, the calculations the same days they file, right away they're on top of it, right? And I spoke to the attorneys and they said, Torsten, the biggest, everybody deserves these misclassification dollars. The biggest problem is the waiting game. If you go in as an individual, you file out all the papers and you send it off to the state, you, you could wait up to one and a half years because they so, but if you force it into the court system, into arbitration, you get results right away within two weeks. So please do that. Uh, trading U.S. stocks, I hope you're doing well with your trades, my friend. The new law may be a hybrid between traditional employee and independent contract. That is ex precisely what I said. I've said that since day one when they're starting on the AB5. I 150% agree with that gentleman trading U.S. stocks. It's going to be a hybrid. Mark my words. They're going to have to, it, you know, they have, it, it cannot be a, a, a win-lose situation. Win company, lose state or win company, um, um, win, win state, lose company. It, it has to be a win-win situation. So they're going to have to give up a little bit and meet in the middle. It's going to be a hybrid between the two, right? There's going to be a whole new set of laws, especially after this pandemic. This pandemic forced a lot of relative issues on the table to talk about them, right? That were never addressed. It, the, 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 the pandemic forced these issues to the talking table so people would address them. And there's gonna be dramatic change in 20 and 21, mark my words. Dennis Torres, professor went with a law firm you recommend, is it the same you're talking about right now? Is that Potter handy? Yes, it is, Dennis, you're in good hands. And you, you can talk to um, Tim and Jim there, 
great gentlemen. They're on top, it like, on top of it like that, right? You can, of course, go and, and, and get, you know, a, a Rideshare Drivers United. They did a form on their website where they, the majority of these people came through Rideshare Drivers United. But Rideshare Drivers United did not tell them that going the route you're on your own, filling out the forms, can take up to one and a half years. I say get the money now, even if you have to sacrifice a bit. Why am I going to sit around in one and a half? I could be dead in one and a half years, right? I could be in a whole different profession in one and a half years. You want the money now. The people in the pandemic that, that received the UI in whatever state in Texas, they're happy. They get $2,600. It's a, it's a lifeline. It's oxygen, my friends. People in California are stressed. They're waiting, right? They deserve the money. We've been left in the cracks and we're there. We're stressed. Can't make our rent. Can't make the payments, right? You need cash yesterday, right? And I, I don't think I'm exaggerating when I'm saying that, is that some states were truly ahead in the game and got the people the money or some money right away. And many states were just fast asleep, right? And, and by being fast asleep, not adjusting, look, California only opened today, April the 28th. Other people, Apple, other states' websites were functioning done right within the first week. So some people have already received monies weeks ago. California hasn't even seen the money. So hammer, hammer time. We've got to hold those responsible, right? Those states responsible um, that are lagging or fast asleep or not up to speed or don't want to do this because they don't want to see too many unemployment filings. We've got to hold these states accountable that people, the, the U.S. taxpayer, you have paid in the money into the system. This is your money and you can rightfully tap that money. It's like tapping your own oil well, right? You deserve that oil out of the oil well. Why? It is money that you have paid in the system, into the system for years. You and I deserve that money. Faith C says, good morning, drivers. How do we get in touch with your attorney to the arbitration? Um, I will put the um, website here, potterhandy.com. And they know me. I talk to them daily because I bring them a lot of drivers. And I tell you what, the, the one reason why I like the attorneys at Potter Handy is because I get to explain I get to make clear to them how the drivers are mistreated. These guys are law people. They go by the law. They hammer the companies. They get the money. But I can also work in all the other ways. You know, I, for example, I can say, hey, when drivers go to a hub and try to fight for their monies or, 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 or try to get money that they are owed and Uber is making all their excuses and the moment a driver brings up the fact that they may want to go and seek legal representation. You are literally, I've, I've heard this from hundreds of drivers, you marched out of a hub, you're literally removed. I tell them these type of things and I said, you've got to look into that. A company cannot just get a bunch of thug security guards and just throw an individual out because he's there trying to get his money. I said, you need to look at all the stories out there. And I've got to say it, I like it when an attorney not only listens, but also asks questions. Okay, when they were doing that, um, did they give you an option to um, have a legal discussion about that or find out where you may? No, they just simply throw you out onto the street, right? So they listen and they act. And the cool thing is with their damages calculator for misclassified gig economy workers, you can calculate right away or the attorneys do it for you on, on the phone. Hey, buddy, how many hours did you work on average? Blah, blah, blah. When did you work? How many trips have you done? Right. Did you ever get paid for um, overtime? Right. A lot of these drivers are doing overtime, 10, 12 hour days. Right. That's several hours overtime. You get paid almost, I don't know, double on overtime. Jim Lewis, you are right about RDU, uh, Torsten. Apply for PUA first, fighting a California UI a um, App, as instructed by RDU, will get you stuck in 30, 45 day wage investigation with zero benefit. Th thank you, my friend. I appreciate you for saying that. Yeah, I, I, I think um, um, I think the problem, honestly, the problem with RDU is they so gung ho to to sign up um, to sign up people, but they don't even look into the law. I, I, I've I've had. RDU, oh, we'll bring these attorneys on board. We'll do this for you. 
Uh, we'll get these shows going. I had ladies in San Diego make all these promises. I, I'm extremely disappointed by RDU. Not only did they not follow up and give me what I needed that I could have brought across, right? But they also, I think, many times just misguided uh, 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 drivers because they just wanted that sign up, that email and that name in their database so that they can say, hey, we're 10,000 strong, we're 10, 000, uh, 20,000 strong. People that went through the RDU website, right, you need to go out and get an attorney, right? You're going to be stuck in paperwork, even as Jim Lewis said. You're going to be stuck in this wage investigation. You need to force the issue straight into court. Pay up now, right? They don't have any alternative. When they're forced into the court, quick arbitrations, quick decisions, right? That's how it's done, my friend. So, so do that. Um, Robin says, hey, Mark, I got EIDL today. It just showed up in my bank account. Whoop, 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 whoop from the SBA. Robin, how much did you get? $1,000? Whoop, whoop. Did you get a thousand bucks, Robin? I didn't see RDU's Facebook Live last night. Um, Jim Lewis, if you say it as a joke, just they're unorganized. They don't know the laws. They don't know. They're just out there signing up people. It's a lot of empty promises. You guys got to go to do the work. And I'm just saying, if you want the fastest money, I know in, in, over the last 20 years, you want money quickly, you speak to attorney. Sometimes you have to give up. Either you pay an attorney right? Or you give up, you go on contingency. Contingency, contingency is the best. You're not paying any out-of-pocket fees. They're doing all the work, all the legal work, all the filings, bringing it into the courts for you. And you, when you're on contingency, you split your money on a 60-40 basis, right? But they hammer them over the head. They go in with the Thor hammer, they club them, and they come out with the money, right? Um, Gregory Martin says, so you're saying the PUA will give only give us in California 167. Well, it, I, my guess is, I didn't say those numbers. Uh, oh, that came from Tris. Tris said 167 is a bare rate. Um, I, I thought the people were getting $600 per week. I hope that's the case, really. Short much says, too much paperwork, wasted time. Are you talking about the wage misclassification? I'm telling you, let the attorneys do it for you, right? And please mention my name. These guys know me well. I've brought them tons of drivers. Mario Cedillo in the house, uh, welcome you. I brought them a ton, of, um, a, 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 a ton of drivers to the law firm and they package it up and they file and they go after the money aggressively, right? I mean, I, I can't show the, 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 the docs. I'm gonna show it from far, but I signed all the paperwork, right? I can't. But by law, I can't go through the, the contract and show it, right? Because that's happening behind the scenes. But um, I, signed, I signed the paperwork, right? right? Right there. Attorney retainer agreement, right? Signed it. Done. Off it goes. So I'm saying go and get your money through these attorneys. It, you are owed, if you are in California, you are owed, believe it, a lot of money right? A lot of money. And please mention my name, right, Chair Professor. They rock and roll. They really do. These guys are on top of it. They have a team of three heavy hitters. They get back. They have paralegals. They have offices in LA, Orange County, San Diego. They package it up and they go after your money. They have the law ready to go. They already know all the legal torts, right? They already know what Uber and Lyft has breached and they just file cookie cut. They go after your cash. Right, and we need money yesterday. Um, so by calling attention to the influx of claims, the drivers organized by Los Angeles Labor Group, Rideshare Drivers United, hope to pressure the state to enforce Assembly Bill 5. Look, the intentions are good, and they do a lot of press to, to, to sign up drivers, right? But I'm, what I'm saying to Rideshare Drivers United, RDU, you guys really, really need to check your facts and have some legal people on board. When I am not sure about a thing, I run it by an attorney. Hey, is this the right approach? Am, am I doing it incorrectly here? I, what I find with RDU is that they gung-ho to get signups and they just 
take forms that they see on state web, they inf almost duplicate the language in their website and they say, sign up here, right? At that moment, you're signing up through their website for misclassification, but you, they, they're not being honest with you and say, hey, this could take up to one and a half years, the route that we are advertising here, right? So that takes too long, my friends. You need the cash now. And hence, you know, even, even the attorneys said to me, listen, if they go, if, they, if RDU puts out that information, right, and just copies lingo from these websites and makes their own forms, the people are guided in there but have no clue how long they're going to be waiting for their money. So misclassification, yes, but do it the correct way. Do it on contingency with an attorney so you get paid in the next two months, not paid somewhere mid or end 2021. Um, so the drivers, along with members of the Transport Workers Union, plan to caravan outside the offices of the California Labor Commissioner, as well as the Employment Development Department in Los Angeles and San Francisco on Thursday. They did that to demand that the state enforce AB5 so they can qualify for unemployment insurance benefits and receive the wages they say they were wrongfully denied through misclassification, which is correct. That is correct. But it's the way you approach this. It's the way you go after your misclassification number. Stacy Wells, a spokesman for the app-based driver services coalition, which represents both Uber and Lyft, said stepped up enforcement of AB5 would only hurt workers in the gig economy, forcing app-based ride chain delivery drivers to become employees, which the vast majority have repeatedly said they do not want. That's, that's, that's how Uber and Lyft spends it, right? Uber and Lyft do not want to pay out money. We need the money right now, right? And there is no work right now. Um, and we have no idea when this is going to bounce back. Forcing app-based rideshare and delivery drivers to become employees, which the vast majority, majority have de repeatedly said they do not want, I don't, know, I don't agree with that, will result in the widespread elimination of work for hundreds of thousands of Californians at the very worst possible time. Um, some groups have called the suspension of AB5, arguing the law makes it difficult for freelancers to find work while stay-at-home orders remain in effect. But groups including Rideshare Drivers United say the coronavirus pandemic highlights the needs for employee benefits and protections to ease the fallout from an economic downturn. Those protections include paid sick leave and unemployment insurance. And they are right. That was not put in place and every driver should have received that, right? Um, Tris says, Torsten, I watched the web-based cast and they had actual people who got approved and getting money and walked through how he did it. Yes, th there are a few people. Obviously, they'll tell you about the success stories. No doubt about it. They'll tell you about the few success stories. We'll get that. There are a few success stories, but the majority of these things can take a year to a year and a half, right? For whatever reason, neither the state nor the cities are empowered by the law to enforce AB5, have taken hard action to do so. Nicole Moore, an organizer with Rideshare Drivers United, said that's why in February, drivers took it upon ourselves to enforce the law through the people's enforcement, which are these wage claims. And that is correct. It was the right way. It, it was the way to go. That information was out there. But what these guys did is they took the wording straight off these websites, planted it into the website, and didn't really tell the drivers, okay, if you're going to file for wage claim through this for misclassification, how long is this whole duration going to take? When you start looking into that, when you start talking to attorneys, when you start really trying to get your money right away, they'll tell you, it's a long, long walk. Yeah, there's a couple of people right in the beginning that filed right away. They were attended to right away, right? But there's 2,000 people that filed, right? Now they have to work on it case by case with case workers. So it takes a long, long, long time, right? Uh, Miss Lizzie G, thank you. I'm waiting on EDD to reply my appeal. Can I file again? Yeah, fi file, the new, file the new one. Exact file with the new forms. Chris Hollingsworth, San Diego's in the house. How are you, my friend? Um, so navigating how to file wage claims against a company while being treated um, as a contractor can be complex. So the group created a web tool to help streamline the process for drivers in February when RDU first began calling drivers to file wage claims. There were about 200 claims. As of Tuesday, the organization said 2,535 drivers had filed for back wages, which is good. 
There's nothing wrong with that if you have a lot of patience and you're prepared to wait a long time. If you're not and you need the money right now, go my route. Go that potterhandy.com. Uh, Wicked Hustle Guy says, it's strange to every to every car that I've bought have always been owned by a grandmother who only drove on Sunday. These groups must know my dealership. Interesting. <laughs> You say it's a good car or a bad car? Gregory Martin. Oh, those are good cars if grannies drove them. Gregory Martin says, thanks, Jim, on the 1099 info. Thanks, Jim. We appreciate you. Red Daniels is in the house. How are you? How much money will we get through your lawyer? Well, they, 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 it, it, it's not my attorney. Firstly, it's not my lawyer. It's the, it, it's the homework that I've done looking for the best law firm in California, just like I look for the best law firm on the East Coast. And those guys have been filing cases for a long time. The guys that I've researched who can get the job done after comparing attorneys in Long Beach, attorneys up and down the coast, were the guys with the head offices in San Diego. They're the best in the game. They know this procedure. They've done it and they've had success, right? The money depends on how many years you worked, how many trips you did, how many hours you did. So it'll vary. So depending what Red Daniels drove, how many hours on average, blah, 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 determines they can work out for you very, very quickly what money you should be getting, right? My calculation came to $700,000, right? My calculation, that's based on overtime, all my SUV driving, etc., etc. all the trips they calculated was $700,000. I don't expect 700. Even if they got the full 700,000, I would have to go 60, 40 with them. I will take 60% of $700,000 all day long. I will take 60% of $200,000 all day long. Do you, you know what I mean? Um, I would rather have the money now and work with the money and, and, and look at other businesses I can invest into stocks, uh, look into other businesses that I can start if I receive money through misclassification. I have no time, no patience waiting for maybe one to one and a half years. And here it is. Although, let me read this fine print. Although some drivers, although some drivers have heard back from the labor commissioner already, some drivers, right? Others say, others said they expect the process to take months, months, right? Okay. One driver, Christy Contine, said she had a brief follow-up call with the labor commissioner's office after she submitted her wage claim and was told the process for determining whether she was owed the wages could take up to a year and a half. Up, so, they lay, so they get flooded with all of these applications, right? In the beginning, a few are taken care of right away. Some they say, okay, months. Now they're so backlogged, they say, okay, it could take up to one and a half years. You don't have one and a half years to wait for your money, right? Um, Scott Tucker, do they have office or referral in Nevada? Sadly, Scott, we, th this applies to California, right? Because of the AB5, the misclassification. I am hoping that we can fight for misclassification of drivers in all states and at least get those back wages. It is my opinion, it's just my opinion, that either this year or in 2021, we will have a new gig worker law, which is a hybrid. And Jim Lewis agrees with me, a hybrid between employee and independent contractor. Based, even based on what the pandemic happened during the pandemic. They cannot afford, the states cannot afford to go through this a second time. They have to have a system in place where people are paying in and people can take out. They have to basically rewrite the laws right now because of these pandemic, because of the pandemic, because gig workers, independent contractors were left behind. They fell in the cracks, right? So that's all the talk and all the hype and all the excitement right now is around, okay, how do we get this done? How do we get a new sort of identity, um, maybe a hybrid, call it the word hybrid between a gig worker and employee so that these people should hopefully, God forbid, another pandemic never rolls around. But if it does in 10 years time, are these people taken care of, right? So nobody falls through the cracks. Um, let's see. So Goose says the system for PUA is already down. My guess is that a lot of people are waking up right now um, and that or they've had their breakfast and that the system is overloaded. But um, maybe it crashed. Maybe too many people are on the server. Um, 
I think I'll wait a day or two to file EDD uh, to get over. You know, Lizzie, I wouldn't. I, I would try and get it in today, tonight, right? Um, because I'm sure, you know, these cases are assigned numbers. They've gone one by one. You wait another two days, that, that could be the difference of another 100,000 people before you, and you might be waiting. So I, I would wait for, if the website's up and running, might be down right now. Somebody says it's down right now. But get it in, get it done, and get it over, right? Um, trading U.S. stocks says try this afternoon for the PUA. I, I agree with that. So try this afternoon or late this afternoon. Right now, maybe people just woke up, had their breakfast, and boom, they're all online, right? Remember, these are hundreds and thousands of people that are doing this today, simultaneously, or tomorrow. Uh, but I, I just ask you not to wait 48 hours because you could really, really be sitting or standing in a long, long, long queue. So um, I, the, the, the link that I will... Um, leave for you if you want if you want to do some calculations if you want to get like an idea right and and do mention my, my name because i can tell you what the people that have mentioned my name because of my relationship with the law firm they accelerated very very quickly and like i said i've i've worked with james tim and jim and anytime i've needed something or needed a callback or needed an email or needed information information or needed a contract, boom, 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 it's done right away. They have a lot of paralegals and they get this stuff done, right? So just if you want to sort of work out if you're in California, right? This is only for California. Let me just put California in front of this. California for the misclassification. If you want to get some ideas on numbers, they have an amazing tool. Uh, where is it? Miss. My coffee's kicking in, that's a good thing. How are you guys doing today, by the way? How is everyone? Here I am yapping, yapping, yapping away because I was so excited because this April 28th that I haven't even really ha had the time to ask my house or the people in our house how you guys are doing. I hope you are doing well. So step dash one. Okay, misclassified. There's the link, ladies and gentlemen. So for California misclassification, the link is um, this one over here. That, that, that's the link. If you want to do some numbers, um, go to their homepage, email them, say, hey, right chair professor sent me. Um, can somebody call me and help me out so we can, I can determine how much money I should be getting, right? Um, Trading U.S. stocks is doing as well as to be expected. Thank you for asking. Great. Appreciate it. I'm, I'm happy to hear that. Under the circumstances, it sounds like you're holding up and doing okay. That's good. Lizzie says, okay, guys, thank you for all an amazing info. She goes, jeesh, I'm going to take care of all this today, including heading up the law group. Blessed, Lizzie. Good. Go after your money. You deserve it. Um, it's pay up time now. And by the way, this is not a free ticket you're getting from the United States. You've paid into the system. You're a taxpayer. You deserve this money. Um, misclassification wages is not a free ticket either. This is the companies that have misclassified you for years. You are that money, overtime money, meal money, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, right? Go and get that money back. Awesome. So we're on 32 thumbs up. If I can get that up to 40, I'll be stoked. I'll be super happy. David Garcia, my brother's in the house. I started my application with EDD at 7.30 a.m. So that by the time they started accepting apps, they were up and running. It took me several times to get through online, but I got in. Whoop, whoop. Happy for David Garcia. David Garcia got in. Bop, 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 bop. Teddy, did you get in? Hello, Prof. Philly in the house. Philadelphia, glad to see folks are finally getting some funds. We love you, Teddy. We send you much love. My bro that I managed to give a nice good bear hug. He gives good bear hugs. Teddy T from Philly in the house was at our party in Long Beach. We salute him. Jim Lewis says, California EDD UI site is down. So it just went down. Okay, thanks for that update. Here's their filing hours, day of the week, available time, 5 a.m. to 8.30 p.m. Uh, Monday, 4, oh, Monday... Tuesday, Monday, 4 a.m. to 10 p.m. Tuesday, the same till 2 a.m. Wow, there's the times there.
We're going to do it again, Jimmy. Jimmy, another legend down there. Awesome guy. And then again, a thank you to the guys also in uh, the Rideshare um, Driving School channel helping me clock up hours. I see you also have some people. I'm dual streaming right now, trying to get some extra hours in the other feed. So that's, that's cool. Gregory says thumbs up. We're almost at 40. We're on 38. Um, and then, um, you know, the one, the one section I want um, California drivers, California gig workers to pay a lot of attention to is when you get to the section. It's one page and it starts off, are you unemployed? as a direct result of a, re a recent disaster, for example, COVID-19, earthquake, uh, flood, mudslide, or fire. So in this case, it'll more likely 99% will be COVID-19, right? And that is the page that they've really, um, well, it's a lot of detail. You, you really have to take your time to fill this section out, right? 1A, 1, 1A, 2, 1A, 3, 1B, 1C, 1D, 1E. Um, in 1A, 2, provide the date your business employment or self-employment was interrupted as a direct result of COVID-19. Why did you stop driving? For example, um, I'll give you some examples. Health reasons or taking care of someone who is compromised or your kids are out of school. They give you all these options, right? So you just make sure you select the right one there. And um, that's all up and running April the 28th. We have heard from three or four people that the system is down right now. So I'm guessing it's really, really overloaded, right? I mean, California should have expected this. It's just these old archaic systems that can't handle these workloads, right? It's, 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 it's mind-blowing that they have had weeks and weeks and weeks and they say, okay, it's going to be grand opening April the 28th, right? And they know a lot of volume of, of information is going to be submitted, but there's no like, I don't know, is it bandwidth or, 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 or storage capacity to hold this? Why, why would a system go down when you've hyped it up, when you've hyped the system up for April the 28th, right? But it's there, I've checked it and it works and it's simplified, and it's easy, and it's quick to do. It's really a few steps and you're done. And all the language is in there, right? They say, are you an employer? And then it's, no, I'm not an employer. It says, there's a section there, are you self-employed, an independent contractor or gig worker? Yes, you click on that. That opens up a whole different array of questions um, revolved around independent contractor or self-employed status, right? And then you get to this page where it starts talking about the disaster um, you fill it out, uh, the, the type of disaster, section there, it says it's section 1, uh, 1A1, pay, pay very close attention to 1A1, 1A2, 1A3, 1B, 1C, 1D, 1E, and then 1A2, 1A3, just go through those questions, that's the whole disaster page, and make sure you pay very, very fine attention to that page. Mark Rowden says, no stimulus, no UI, no small businesses. Poop emoji, poop emoji, poop emoji. I'm with you there. Um, David Garcia, I tried back to back after about an eighth time. I got through the message I was getting was to try later. Screw that. Keep trying till you get through. There we go. Persistence pays off as per David Garcia. Uh, trading US stocks is not enough service to accommodate the people filing. That's pretty ridiculous, right? Trading US stocks. I mean, surely... You're hyping it up for April the 28th. Surely you could say to the state, hey, by the way, we anticipate massive loads coming on. Let's get a couple of additional servers. That's not going to cost them an arm and a leg, right? But it's so old. It's so, so archaic. Wicked Hustle Guy says, are part-time drivers doing applications? Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Some of the states looking at your looking at your 2018, 2019 returns, right? They're looking, what, what did you create? What did you drive there? And then they're doing their calculations. So, Tris says, stay at home order. Uh, the last I read, Fauci said all states should stay at home. Obviously, specific states don't agree with that. People are at the beaches. Here in LA, here in California, strangely enough, Ventura Beach was open on the weekend, overcrowded. Orange County Beach was open, overcrowded. 
LA County beaches were shut down, Santa Monica beaches were shut down, San Diego beaches were shut down. So not everyone is playing ball. And it really, like, I'm not gonna get into arguments on, on, on what side of the fence you are, whether you want the economy to open now or whether you want the economy to all work together, right? As I found out yesterday, um, I literally had about had to let about six subscribers go because it just got too, just too crazy, and and I'm I'm not I'm not the drama guy. I, I don't want drama in the channel. We want to we want to talk about real issues and find real solutions. The drama, if if I want a drama, I could op open up a drama channel. I don't want the drama, or I could open up a conspiracy channel and get all crazy type of drama. I don't want that. Right? I want to live in the here. I want to live in the now. And the here and now is that people need to get paid. People need to find jobs. People need to pay for rent. People need to get through summer so that hopefully everything is back to normal. I, you know, I, I've, probably the, the next 90 days are super challenging, right? But I think if we can get through that, I think we'll be fine. Uh, Jimmy says, I find it ironic that they released inmates from prisons, but now they are arresting people who ignore the stay at home order. Yeah, isn't that funny? Probably every little way to make money. Right. Mark Rowden says over 100 calls into Nevada UI still BZ. Lex Ori, do you have to register again? Um, well, you you reapply. You don't have to re-register again. You you register once as a new file, somebody filing UI, and if you've done that, you just fill out the new forms. Tris says, I got my stimulus from 2018 taxes. Okay, cool. Good. Abstra Ego says, I didn't file a 2018 return because it didn't work. So I'll probably look at your 2019. Go Donny Com. How are you, my brother? Legend DJ, played the most wonderful music. Great information. Thank you, my friend. Hope you're doing well there. And again, thank you for that awesome 24-hour live stream with my riot share brother, Go Donny Com. If you haven't subscribed to him, he's there. He's got the little icon with the shades on. He's a genuine guy. He's real as real can be. Down to earth, funny, just a warm, good human being. Support him. And... Um, I'm glad I got to know him better. I get really got to know these people, you know, Sensei and Go Donny Com and a few other people that I don't really know very well. I really got to know them in that 24 hour live feed. And by the way, I didn't do 24 hours. I did 16 hours, right? So I was literally what, eight hours short, I think of the whole, uh, the finishing line. Um, Abstract Ego says, hi Donny. And Mark Rowan says, Go Donny, come on, man. Uh, I wish every day was a party, but we're having to work today, <laughs> right here, right now. Right here, right now, we got to work and make money. I agree. Dale Prusov's in the house. Anybody having problems with EDD website? Yes, sir. It, it, it was up and running about an hour ago. It's down right now. I, I guess it's overload, right? Too many people are on it. But I, I would wait a few hours and then try again. I would not give up. Um, Teddy says... Thanks, Prof. Great memories of the party. Indeed, indeed, my friend. Uh, I'm, I'm, and I'm glad I took a lot of pictures. I, I love taking photos wherever I go, whether it's with friends, family, kids, travels. I mean, my average amount of photos on a holiday ranges anywhere from 2,000 to 4,000 photos. I take a lot of photos because I don't know if you, if you guys enjoy photos, but... I'll go through and I say, eliminate, eliminate, eliminate. One out of every 20 is a really, really nice photo, whether it's a really nice sunset or you've caught your kid doing some crazy action or something, you've caught them in the moment. There's always like one out of every 20, one out of every 50 photos, that's great. So I'm a snap happy guy. So I meet the guys in, in, in Vegas, the group, click, 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 probably took 20, 30 pictures. There are three great pictures that I can remember, right? Uh, Payman Ali's in the picture, Mark Routon, all, all of the guys are in, 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 in the photos, right? The Vegas crowd. Um, the, the Long Beach party took a ton of pictures. They had at least 10, 15, 20 really, really good pictures. Took, what, 4,000 pictures on my last Hawaii holiday. There must be at least 100 good, really nice pictures that I can put in an album or a book. And I make, I make um, 
Laura, not I, Laura makes books out of all the photos. I supply the photos, I'm the photographer. She puts it into awesome print book form and every kid gets it so that they get it Christmas so they can go through the whole year. 2019 and 2020, the pandemic, Christmas 2020, they can see, oh shit, yeah, we were out of school. We're gonna take a lot of pictures, take pictures of kids as they like homeschooling you so we can remember, aha, that is what we did in 2020. When, when is the Vegas party? Probably the best question today. Scott Tucker says, when is the Vegas party? We so, so, so deserve a party, all of us, we really do. So I, I would say when things get back to normal, I would agree everybody uh, is ready for a party and, and, and I would agree it's got to be Vegas. So my guess is we can do the Vegas party in July. I'll tell you why July because I've also booked a big holiday in Utah in July. So prior to going to Utah, I'll step, stop in Vegas, we'll do a one day party, and then I will continue my journey um, with my kids. But we will book a really nice place in Vegas and we'll throw a Vegas party and we'll stream from there. Jim Lewis says again, Dale, yeah, Site is overloaded and it keeps on crashing. Just keep on trying, you'll get through. Great attitude, I like that. Stefan Masil in the house, um, good to see you here. Thanks, I thought I saw that you need 4,500 in net income. Um, you may need 4,500 minimum in net income. You know, spread over 12 months, that's not really much, right? That's less than $400 a month income. So they probably wanna see some sort of minimum. Could be, but, but, but thanks for sharing that. Is that, um, is that in California, 4,500 minimum? Tris says, ah, oh, thanks, birthday party for me. Happy birthday, is it your birthday today, Tris? Is it your birthday today? Let us know if it's your birthday today. Gregory Martin, does anyone know how many are working with Lyft and Uber and how risky it is? I, I wouldn't. I mean, would you go out there and, oh, Tris is in July. Okay, so perfect timing. So we'll get to celebrate your, your party in Vegas, 100%. Alan Winston is in the house. How are you? Good to see you, my friend. Viva Las Vegas. Viva Las Vegas. Ziggy007 says, did anyone get SSI, QR, SSDI stimulus? Uh, not me, but you mean the social security? Um, I heard that's taking longer, right? But, but it is coming. Mark Routon, May the 15th. Very cool. Oh, May the 15th. Good. You got scammed with Instacart. How did that happen? Uh, t with a tip, with a big high false tip that got retracted or what? How did you get scammed? Omar, Lila in the house. I'm doing well. Good to see you, my brother. How are you doing, Omar? Awesome. Glad you guys are great. It's, it's hot as hot can be. It's in, in the 80s here. Um, how hot is it on your end there? Uh, yeah, some casinos uh, should open in July. That is correct. Uh, Tris says the government said it's coming out this week and already started with the SSI payments. Good. That's good news for people. Stefan Masil, not sure if it's for everyone. He's, Omar is in the house. Excellent, excellent. Cool. So um, I'll be happy if I can get this up to 60 minutes and 60 thumbs up. We're on 51 at the moment. Thank you so much for the 51 um, thumbs up. I appreciate that. Dale Prusov says, wondering to anyone that applied, can we upload 1099 or does, no, you don't, you don't upload the 1099. You plug in the numbers of your uh, 1099. Usually that is in a, a field, in one of the fields, I think, it's field 1 to 18, it stipulates exactly what that, that number is. No, you don't upload any 1099, right? They, they, they'll probably have to verify those numbers with Uber. I'm, I'm not sure. I just hope that Uber participates. And I mean, Dale, good question. If, if How does EDD verify? I mean, EDD should actually be contacting uh, Uber 
And Uber should verify, yes, that person worked for me. Yes, that is right. Those are the numbers. But apparently Uber and Lyft are not working with the states helping verify that. So my guess is, if you read the language on the final page here, it says, make 100% sure that the numbers and all the information, because there could be criminal fines up to imprisonment if you give false declarations, right? So, you know, my guess is they're going face value on the information that you're giving them. Well, those net earnings should be should be listed on your on your um, 1099, right? Surely you got a 1099 either from a fleet owner if you were driving for a fleet, or from Uber or Lyft directly. Taxes and pay stubs you give them. Good. EDD will verify wages by asking for our 1099. K is later. Thank you, Jim Lewis. Could very well be. Thanks. Great, great feedback today, guys. Great feedback. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you for all the wonderful contributions. I really appreciate that when people are bringing in good information that helps your brother and sister in the house. It's, it's, it's solidarity, my friends. I love it. Love, love, love how people help. McGee Nutters, UK in the house. Where in the UK, my friend? McGee Nutters, where in the UK, my friend? Stefan Maciel says, I was in Portugal from January the 4th to March the 5th of this year. Okay. Well, you're, you're, um, you basically tell them when you, they don't really, I didn't, don't really have to know that. You just told them on the last day you stop, when you stop working, what, January the 3rd, maybe? What part of um, Portugal? I, I, I actually, um, I actually lived, I, I dated Miss Portugal for about a year. Isabel da Costa. You can check her up, Isabel da Costa. I was in Lisbon, Estoril. Um, where else was I? In, uh, I was in Lisbon, Estoril, and Cascais. You know Cascais, Estoril, and Lisbon, buddy? Do those ring any bells to you? Lisbon and Azores, beautiful. Cool. McGee Nutters, Elm Park. Whoop, whoop. Elm Park, UK. Yuyito, what's going on today, buddy? It's going strong. It's just really, really hot today. Really hot. Crazy, crazy hot outside. It's like a humid, humid heat that we're not used to here in California. But good news, April the 28th, everything's up and running right now. Some people report that the system is down, maybe a little bit overloaded. I want you guys to pay close attention when you get to the disaster section in the EDD, number 1, 1A1, 1A2, 1A3, 1B, 1C, 1D, 1E, 1A2, 1A3. Pay very, very close attention to, to that page and make sure when you sign off at the bottom that you've put all the information in correctly. Fasam, would you please give your email at me or somebody else? Here's mine. Here's mine, nothing to hide. And I had some, yesterday, I don't know, I had a block the guy, some raging lunatic called Vladimir. I don't know, maybe he was one of Put Putrin's brothers, but um, just raging hatred. Just, I don't know what's wrong with the girl. Whatever's going on in your world, don't unload it on me, buddy. Just delete next. So... Don't even own that one. Um, Mark Routon, Scott Tucker, you have my email. Oh, uh, Derek Finio, what is the phone number do you put down for Uber? They, they, they don't ask for the phone number of Uber. They, they don't, uh, it depends, sorry, I take it back. What state are you in? But as far as in the California filing, they don't ask for any phone number of Uber, right? Um, you can't put down the 1-800 number. Um, I, do have a, I do have one legitimately working number for um, Uber. It's, it's, it's a, uh, what is it, 9118, I believe it is. I think that was the number. Oh, you, you, um, 
Abdiraman says he applied in Colorado was good. Very cool. I hope you got your money already. Abdiraman, Khalif, I hope I hope you already got your cash. There it is, Mark Routon, put it again, 415-619-9118. Even if, you know, you have to call and leave, uh, a, a, leave a message so that you have a real recording at the headquarters so you have backup and proof. Hey, I called this number and um, I'm waiting on my payment. Go Donnie Combs says, nothing toxic, always positive, don't hate, create. I love it. Derek, um, we, gave, we did that. What else? No, that, they, um, the, the 1-800-593 is a customer helpline. Um, um, employment agencies won't verify that number or won't phone that number to verify because that's just a offshore number to help drivers or riders when there's issues, right? That, one, that, that phone number is in Manila, has nothing, has nothing to do with the EDD. That's a helpline. Uh, Godoni comes in, everything went fine in Mississippi. Everything was been updated. My credit card in the mail. Um, I'll get 39 weeks. Whoop, whoop. That makes me happy. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Those are the stories that make me happy. All right, my friends. Um, good. We covered that. Um, I also shared with you um, the, the, the website link, right? There it is. Again, I go there. Um, you see there it says, right, Shepard Professor Potterhandy.com, misclassified damages. Go there. Call these guys up. Tell them, right, Chair Professor. This is for the. This is for California. This is for ma misclassified dollars. All the monies they owe you on overtime, meal times, or it's a lot of money. Go after every dollar right now if you're short on cash, right? And do mention my name when you call them, right? They their phone number here, one eight hundred three eight three seven zero two seven. Mention. the company here this is for Cali drivers get your cash PUA app okay yeah you can go through the app you can go through the online mobile app you can go through um, the website directly on the computer Rick Johnson's in the house he says hi I drive for Lyft in Ohio uh, the state shut down the DMVs a while ago and Lyft assured me I could drive if my license expired. Not true. Thank you, sir. Just passing info on. Um, why would the DMV say you could keep on driving while the license is expired? Yeah, I, I would guess that is not true. And I, get, I would guess that Lyft would uh, deny you in Ohio if they see that you're uh, driver's license expired. It's got to be a way around that, my friend. Rick Johnson, look into all the ways you can get that license um, updated. Do they have like out, out, outside machines? Sometimes they have these vending machines in California, the vending machines where you get stuff done, boom, 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 very, very quickly. Nifty 50s live says abstract echo. I'm happy for you. I'm expecting the same amount as for you. Awesome. Another brotherhood is formed. Abstract echo, Nifty 50s life. I like that. People helping each other. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you. That, that's what makes me happy. To see success stories between people, you know, win-win situations. Win-win here. Win-win between abstract echo and Nifty 50. Win-win here. Beautiful stuff, my friends. And another big win-win for us, Vegas party, my friends. Vegas party, don't forget, July. July, Vegas party. You just have to choose a nice hotel. Maybe Cosmopolitan. Something fun. Something fun and uplifting. Who commands in the house? Whoop, whoop. We welcome you, my brother. Good to see you. Good to see you. Jim J, that's in most states, he said. Oh, Abstract Echo says, is the DMV closed? Probably in most states, yes. Yeah, I, I like that attitude. Nifty 50's life, thank you. We got to be supportive. I agree. I think the more supportive you are of one another in these times, 
the, the, the far better off we are when we get through the tunnel and we're out on the other side and see light again, right? Uh, we're smart, we're creative, we know how to figure things out, right? And the one thing I know that drivers and delivery people can rely on, street smarts, contacts, people, social media, helping each other, that's, that's how we roll. Rick Johnson says, Eddie Cuevas, good morning. I got all your um, uh, pictures. Unfortunately, I have the other phone running right now with a second stream, otherwise I could show. But yes, Eddie got his, uh, his PPE, he got his uh, disinfectant, he got his masks. Thank you for that update. Thank you for showing me the, the, sh the shipping labels, the proof, he got it, that's awesome. Um, Rick Johnson says, Ohio says we can drive legally until this COVID virus threat is over. So I don't understand why Lyft won't let us drive. So if you could get something, if you could get something that in writing from the DMV website, Rick Johnson, I would upload that. I would upload that sec section right there. Something that the DMV says, yes, you can drive in the COVID even if your license has expired. Get that black and white with maybe the state label license on it and upload it to Lyft and say, hang on, I'm legit to drive. And by the way, if they deny you for two or three months, um, firstly, you should be filing unemployment, right? And stop driving, okay? But if you truly, truly insist on driving because you think you can make more than in driving uh, with Lyft than you can with unemployment um, and they don't let you drive, maybe you have a small claims case against them. Ed Masado's in the house. I'm so broke right now. The food bank in Orange, California, gave me apples and potatoes to eat this week. You serious? Ed? You stressing there, my brother? Food bank in Orange County gave me apples and potatoes to eat this week. So you went down to the food bank. Ed, email me. Maybe I can do something for you. Try to help you out. Where are you staying, Ed? Do you have a family? Have you filed trusses in La Habra? Oh, Abdiraman, um, how old should the car be to drive Uber Eats in delivery in Colorado? You can Google that, but the cool thing is about Uber Eats vehicles can be far older than regular rideshare vehicles, right? So, um, I can look it up afterwards, I'm streaming right now, I'm sure somebody else could look it up or you can Google it, Google it right? You would put um, vehicle, vehicle requirements, Uber Eats Colorado, that's your Google, that's what you wanna put into um, vehicle requirements, Uber Eats Colorado. Type, type that into There we go, and you, you'll get your answer right there. Faith C says, I got something on, on it too. Robin Rina says, Ed Masado, download addresses for three square meals in your area. Some have drive through and they load your trunk up. Ed. Ed, are you in Orange County? Ed, do you have a car? You have a car? Where, where in Orange County are you, Ed? Why don't you set up a GoFundMe page?
Ed. Um, Ed, I'm going to be in Long Beach later on. Um, you can text me, Ed. You can text me, Ed. You can pick that up in Long Beach. Okay, this is yours. You come up to Long Beach later, you can pick up a hundred bucks and go and buy groceries. Okay, my word. And believe me, I'm a man of my word. I've done it for many people. So just um, text me. City of Orange is not far from Long Beach. You can come up and um, come up and, and pick up the money. I'll have it there for you. I don't want to have anyone stressing out that they can't eat and, and they have to survive. I mean, we're not in World War II here, my friends. People should not be surviving on, on potatoes. My grandparents survived on potatoes in World War II. So I, I, don't, I don't want to see anyone in that situation. So if, Ed, if you could please reach out to me. I will be in Long Beach later. Text me your number. I'll tell you when I'm in Long Beach. I'm picking up another car. You can come by and you can pick up 100 bucks from me. I want you to go out and buy groceries. I want, you to, I want you to get milk. I want you to get cereal. I want you to get some bananas. I want to get you some healthy food in your body. I have it here, buddy. You can pick it up later. My word. So if you've got a car and you've got a little bit of gas in your car, cool. Come around. I'll be heading down to um, Long Beach um, around um, 2 o'clock. I should be down there by 3. Um, and if you are in Orange, it should not take you more than 30 minutes to, to, to meet me out, outside of traffic. Okay? My word. Look forward, uh, look forward helping you. What, whatever we can do, Ed. And then also start a GoFundMe page. But I do not want to see anybody so stressed that they got to go down to the food bank and, 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 and have to do with potatoes. It just saddens the heck out of me. Eggman, um, nice sip of coffee, sincerely. Thank you, Eggman. That's my coffee mug. Yes, do I have a phone number to reach Alex at Business Rocket? Um, did you try to go directly to the website? If not Toxico, you can text me, right? Just say it's you and you need Alex's number. And I'll give you the number. Um, Robin's got to be in, in his channel at Uberman Tampa. I'm, I'm not sure about that. Everyone has their gig going on, but I, um, I, I like to, if the Uberman Tampa, there it is. Maybe you could, um, put your link out there. Um, but Robin, the, this individual is, is somebody in Orange County. And, and so if, if one can help him directly, great. Um, I guess Uberman Tampa is collecting for what, um, for the food bank down in Florida, I guess, right, Uberman Tampa? And by the way, um, everyone thumbs up, thumbs up. And we're on one hour, 13 minutes. I'm gonna be slowly, slowly coming to an end here. Robin says, hey, Uberman Tampa, what's the link to the donation page? Uberman Tampa says, National Food Bank called Feeding America. Cool. Thank you for that info. It is so hot, my friends. I wish I could dive into a cool swimming pool right now. Oh, he can't put the moderator. All right. Um, you, you, um, Uberman uh, Tampa can text me the link and then I will put it in.
Yeah, we gotta we gotta work together, my friend. So Rick Nelson's got a good one for us. He says anybody anybody's DMV that's closed, try the website. You should be able to conduct business there. It's a smart one. Thank you. Should be able to do all the stuff on the website. Correct. You're right. You know, you should be able to renew whatever you need to renew. I mean, sort of going to help the DMV push a lot of people to the website. So people start, and for, unfortunately, those DMV websites are sometimes very difficult to navigate, right? And takes a while, but, you know, go to the DMV. If you've never have, if you've never done this, set up your account, your state DMV, and get it all done there. And then Uberman Tampa says he's, he texted it. Um, I'll throw it out there. Uh, Robin, um, I will send it on directly to you. Um, Eddie Cueva says, Professor, I joined the lawsuit with the attorney in Boston. Can we also contact um, the attorney Potter Handy? Um, is that for your, for, for which? Is that for the, the back, back wages? Misclassification? Eddie, I would reach out to Potter Handy and tell them what, what you've done in, um, just tell them that, um, look, you, bo both are great, right? Both are great. Bo both Shannon Liss, Riordian, and Potter Handy will give you the same outcome. But I, I, would, I would reach out to Potter Handy and ask them if, 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 if they could expedite it. And you know what I mean? So, but, but you're in good hands. Joey Driver for you, Idaho. Good to see you here, my brother. Uncle T, you hot Boise in the house. We're doing good here. Good. I'm happy. Praying for Boise. Make everything go smoothly. Let's make it through summer. Let's get back out there again. People are going stir crazy. People are starting to lose, going loco, lose their mind. Going loco in Acapulco. Um, Abstract Echo says, thanks, Rick. I still need to get an inspection update. Oh, so they haven't. You uploaded the inspection. They haven't updated it yet. Uberman, Tampa says Zimmerman and Reed is getting on my nerves. Okay, I do not know who Zimmerman and Reed is. Oh, is that your is that your uh, the law firm that you're working with? Thank you, Eddie. I hope that helps, my friend. Okay, um, I wish everyone a fantastic, safe, 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 safe Tuesday. I hope you get, if you're in California, I hope you get everything done. April 28th, everything submitted. Uh, if you're in California, hopefully you go to the website that I gave you and, um, and get your, there it is again. California, there it is. Go, go in there, get that done and, and let's get you money. And then the other gentleman um, that I spoke to early on, the one in, 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 uh, in, um, in uh, Orange, his name is Ed, please, cool, Some, I got a 480, somebody just called me, but I have a live stream going, so I had to, uh, let's see, somebody said yes, oh, is that, is that the guy, let me just check, back online, EDD website is down, Chris B says, have an awesome day, I wish you an awesome day, uh, to all the superheroes, to all the wonderful people that participated today. Um, let's make things happen, my friends. Let's make things happen. I appreciate your whole faith. You are a rock star in my eyes. Um, you guys are amazing. Thank you for sticking with me here for one hour, 20 minutes. I feel like we got a lot done. We were able to help another rideshare brother, Bava. Dobry dien. Spasiba. Hi, Professor. Good to see you. I think I have a Russian lady in the house. We welcome you. Thank you for everything you guys do. Thank, thank you for creating, honestly, honestly, all I can say, I'm getting the chills here, but thank you for creating such an uplifting experience for, for really reaching out, creating synergies and making things happen. Thank you, Ed, for not being shy and stepping forward and saying, hey, I need help. People... You're not less if you need help. A lot of people need help. Just step forward. Hey, we need help. Let's see what we can do, right? We've, we're here to support each other and get each other through hard times. And we can do it in a group community effort. We care for each other. We, we, we ignore 
all colors, all religions, all countries, we work as global children and we get through this, right? We reach out to our people in the UK, we have New Zealanders here, we have Californians, Vegans, Floridians, New Yorkers, we're all the same. There's no kings and janitors here. We're all equals, my friends. So we get it done and we take care of a business. And Ed, um, take care and bless his faith. And Ed, I'm excited to, um, we'll do, Sherelle. We'll give that to Ed, yes. So Ed, you come down there. Um, and you have my number, Ed. He already reached out to me, 714 number. I've acknowledged him. Um, I will give you the address, uh, Ed. Um, I will text you the address as well. It's at 793 Redondo Avenue, Long Beach. And I should be there, um, I should be there 3 p.m. So I'm excited to see you there, brother. I don't want you to stress. Go out and get your family groceries. Take care of yourself. My friends, I salute you. I appreciate you. And I'll be back soon for the next live stream. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you again. Thank you everyone for watching. Appreciate you.